Hi folks, Doc Jake from Sioux Nation Ag Center here. You know, what has to be one of the most frustrating parts about calving season is when you have a calf that won't suck the cow. I mean, it's kind of ironic when you think about it. Usually, we don't like things that suck. Now, getting this calf to drink colostrum within the first six hours of life is critical for the long-term health and survivability of that calf. Now, obviously, we can tube him colostrum to get him started, but he can't continue to live without being able to nurse the cow. So, what are some ways we can get this calf to drink? Now, if we're going to try to get a calf to drink off the cow, the first thing we have to think about is the mechanics of drinking. Now, that calf has to be able to successfully manipulate the teat on the udder and then push that milk down the back of its throat down to its stomach. This requires a lot of dexterity on the part of the tongue. Now think about what happens if the calf has just been through a hard birth. That tongue usually gets pretty swollen up in that hard birth. So if I have a calf that won't drink off the cow and it just was born to a pretty hard birth maybe the day before, then I will consider using one cc of the drug dexamethasone. Dexamethasone is a steroid. The steroid then will help take the swelling out of the tongue, which will hopefully put the calf on the path to be able to successfully drink off the cow. Now, when we consider the mechanics of drinking off the cow, all of that dexterity requires a lot of coordination. Coordination, well, it takes energy. One of the things that we can see with a calf that's been born to a hard birth is acidosis. Now, acidosis is when the blood pH of the calf is lower than it ought to be. That hard birth process will sometimes cause a calf to be acidotic. This acidosis then makes the calf weak. Consider a calf that has scours. A scouring calf also is an acidotic calf. And those calves, well, they like to lay around, not get up, because they are weak from the acidosis, well, as well as the dehydration. So to correct this acidosis, what a person will want to do is administer sodium bicarbonate. Now sodium bicarbonate, that's just the chemical name for baking soda. What bicarbonate does is buffer the blood pH, thereby raising the blood pH. This should make the calf less weak, which ideally will make it so it wants to drink off the cow. Now there's two ways to give a calf bicarb. We can either administer it in a drench with an electrolyte that contains mostly sodium bicarbonate, or in an IV drip that is predominantly made with sodium bicarbonate. So, oh wait, I gave that up for Lent. So if you've corrected for acidosis as well as a swollen tongue, and still are seeing problems with the calf that doesn't want to drink from the cow, there's one thing I'd like to bring to your attention. Horses have gone through this problem quite a bit. Dummy foals are actually relatively common among horses. And one technique that horse owners have used is a rope harness technique to try to put pressure on the foal in order to get it to recognize and nurse from the mare. You see, the idea with the process is, is that it replicates the pressure inside of the birthing canal. This replication then is supposed to help the horse go through that same process so that the correct hormones are released so that then it wants to nurse from the mare. Now, people have tried replicating this process in calves with varying levels of success. I personally haven't used it, but I wanted to make you aware of it. It works by putting a rope over the torso of the calf and then applying gentle pressure. It's something you can look up online to see if you can try it, because after all, it's not gonna cost you anything to give it a go. Well, that's great, Doc, but what do I do if I don't have any of the calves drinking from their cows? Well, that's an excellent question, Generic Rancher Ron, and that's obviously an extremely frustrating situation. In situations where we've seen a lot of calves that don't want to drink from the cow, one of the things I consider is low vitamin A in the cow herd. In situations like this, We've made custom mineral for producers that have had as many as 30% of their calves not nursing from the cow. This custom mineral has a double dose of vitamin A in it. With this double dose of vitamin A, we've seen these guys go from having that large number of calves that don't want to drink from the cow to maybe a small handful of calves. That, my friend, is definitely worth the effort. Now, folks, this is not an exhaustive list of things that you can do to get a calf to drink off the cow, but it's a good starting point. If you have any other questions on things you can do to make calving go more successfully, 
feel free to reach out to us at Sioux Nation Ag Center. We're always here to help you feed that bottom line. Wait, you gave up pop for Lent, but not beer? Priorities. <coughs> Down the wrong tube. Start pouring. Start pouring my milk. All right. Balances out the pH of the calf, causing it to be closer to the normal level that's supposed to be at. This in turn, oh hello. Oh shoot. Hi. You are live. <laughs> I just walked in on Jake's making a video of something and I just ruined his video. <laughs>